Sicilian Defense, Open, Accelerated Dragon, Murici Bind Formation, 5, BG76.NC2NF67.NC3D68.B2009.00ND710.BD2NC511.B4. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White was a cut above black in the middle game. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. C5 controls the central d4 square. C4 gains space in the center and the queen side, and prepares to develop the knight to c3. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. And c3 develops the knight toward the center and controls the d5 and e4 squares. G6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. This prepares the bishop for development. This threatens to kick a knight. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Recaptures. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is an inaccuracy. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This kicks an opposing knight. It is the last book move. This wins a pawn. It is good. Takes back. It is best. That was a free pawn. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is a mistake. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. Right on target. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a mistake. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. That's fine. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. This threatens to win material. It is excellent. This loses material. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to pin a rook to the king. It is a blunder. This wins material. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. This ignores an opportunity to pin a rook to the king. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. The knight is now adequately defended. It is excellent. This puts pressure on the pinned knight by adding an attacker, which is a powerful resource because a pinned piece cannot move away from the attack. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This wins a knight. It is excellent. This defends the attacked bishop. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to win a knight. 
it is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. This threatens to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is best. An interesting move, although not technically the best. This stops the opponent from being able to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is good. Takes back. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only good move. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. It is a great move. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 